If you haven't tried the Oreo double stack, wait, double stuff cinnamon bun, you're missing out on life. It is that dramatic. Look at how lovely and chunky that is. Oh, they smell like Biscoff. Mmm. Delish. Today you're getting a bit of a chaotic Katie. Um, because <laughs> I've been procrastinating today, not gonna lie. Today was one of those ADHD days where I just wanted to sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing. But I've got so many amazing videos planned and I honestly just want to start chugging them out. And like I've said before, I have kids, so I have to work with the days that I have. And we ain't got time for chilling. <laughs> this is just a little prep talk for myself. Today I've got some really fab pieces that have come throughout the month or that I've ordered. And I wanted to share them with you guys before they get out of stock. Well, you can't get your hands on them. A variety of brands. We've got athletic wear. We've got work outfits, really high-end, low-end budget. It's kind of a mixture of everything. And we've also got some like accessories and things too. I'm going to start off with Empress Athleticus. Let me lower the camera down. Oh, it's a bloody fly. Starting off, we have this gorgeous new ocean color from Empress. It's their new colorway. They also have the, let me grab it, Seaside shell print. Oh my god, stunning! So this is an exciting new design that I've not tried in their previous collections. Um, and it's a tennis dress with a built-in bra. Very comfy, very chic. But I wanted to show you this first. This is my first ever crisscross, or oh sorry, v-neck, um, or v-crop, I should say. Um, and I am also an affiliate with Empress Athleticus, so I do have a discount code. It'll be linked down below. If you shop it and use that code, I get a disc. Um, I get a discount. I get a commission. So just to be fully transparent on that, um, but I do genuinely think that they are the best athletic wear that you can get your hands on, and I love that they are Sunshine Coast Base, Queensland, a female-owned business, and they're honestly the softest, most comfortable, and supportive athletic wear that I've ever had. I wear the size large with Empress Athleticus and I personally find that to be a really nice snug fit for me personally. I did buy the extra large in my first purchase with them and it was a little bit too big so definitely sizing down. And the thing I love with this crop as well is how low and scooped it goes. I just think it's a really nice design. Perfect for that low impact when you're wanting something with a little bit more chest showing. These cookies are so good. This is the tennis dress on. I'm literally obsessed with it. Sorry, finishing it. <laughs> uh, this is the built-in bra as well, like so it's under here. I'm obviously not gonna pull my tit out, duh, Katie. <laughs> Don't point it out. Um, let me show you. So it's fully built in under here and it's got the pattern which is really cool. It doesn't have built-in shorts which actually I personally prefer. Now months, probably six months ago or so I tried a different brand with a tennis dress and it did have the inbuilt pants which I loved but now after like trying them and wearing them in a situation where I'm walking around I was finding that because the fabric was quite slippery, it would ride up and it would make my butt sort of show. So that's not good. So I actually really like that these are not with built-in shorts, but does have the built-in bra. And then if you do want that coverage underneath, if you're playing tennis and you're worried it's going to like, you know, they do have their boy leg shorts undies, which I highly, highly recommend. The spaghetti kind of style straps on these, they feel really sturdy. They don't have a lot of movement in that. So I'm definitely feeling comfortable and like I could work out in this, but obviously it's just going to depend what your preference is, whether you like to work out in a dress or not. Um, and as the name suggests, it is a tennis dress. So it's probably intended for tennis. Now this brand is on the upper 
price range for work and for really nice quality good pieces that you're going to get lots and lots of use out of I do really recommend this brand so Jackie E has recently released a curve range I have been partnering up with them for full transparency over on IG and TikTok this is not sponsored whatsoever but I have been literally obsessed with this and I've had the most compliments I think ever on a work outfit so this particular linen suit is just stunning. I have a white top under here as well to pop on with it. It did come with a white singlet linen top, but can I find that? No. Again, when I wear stuff, they end up everywhere, so <laughs> just know that I did have that. Okay, I've just moved the camera so you can see this outfit better. This is the gorgeous linen pants. I do apologize, there's a crease line here from it hanging up on the hanger. But it's so hot in Queensland today, I'm not steamy. Um, this set is a size 20 and I've definitely noticed that it's a generous fit, I would size down. Because they have got this stretch panel in the back of the pants and then they've got like a nice seam here. You can definitely get away with sizing down because this fit has been designed for curves. I often find with any curve specifically tailored brand I'm a size 18 same with taking shape same with um oh what's the other one called Danny Marie the label like all of those kind of brands that are actually tailor fitted to curves and it doesn't help that I've also kind of changed sizes this is a little bit of a baggy fit on me I don't personally dislike it it's just definitely a little loose since then I have purchased the 18 with them um, this was from the first collaboration that I worked with them on and this is from the second so this is a size 18 and these are a 20 and then the jacket is also a size 20 I'll just pop this on for you oh before I do I'll show you the pleats on the sleeve actually don't know if it's going to show have a look at how stunning like the quality of these fabrics are everything just feels really luxurious well thought out and of course being at the price point that it is you would expect that they're definitely creating garments for a particular person in mind and that person is someone who is a corporate kind of work lifestyle or someone who just likes to dress really formal um, smart casual there's another piece here that I will show in just a moment that's a little more casual still formal but this one is just to die for like literally I'm obsessed I feel like such a badass boss bitch wearing this um, so I had to mention this and I'm going to show you the next piece which is in their current collection and here is the I think it's called shirt maker dress and it's a linen fabric with this absolutely stunning color for spring um, so it's got like palm trees kind of vibe with the orange and pinks and whites it is gorgeous. This is definitely something that I would wear for work or for something very, I wouldn't say formal, but something that you need to be dressy for. This isn't something that I'm just going to whip out for a family dinner for myself personally, but I also know that they're trying to obviously target different kind of audiences. It has got the functional buttons should you want to have that function. It's also got the tie waist belt which helps to cinch in at the waist. It's a really nice thick luxurious linen. The quality for money is definitely there and like I said at the price point that it is you're definitely going to expect that. Like I mentioned Jackie E is definitely not going to be for everybody but I wanted to include it because I think sometimes work options and work outfits can be quite limited for plus sizes and the fact that this now goes up to a size 24 and it's a curve specific range so it's tailored to a size 24 um, and it's not like an actual 20 to 22 size I really wanted to include it and I know it's not for everyone and I know not everyone can afford that price point for those of you that can I thought would really like to see this option that's come to the market next up we have a Kmart piece now this is a gorgeous green gingham and I'm obsessed can I speak obsessed <laughs> with this cut and this shape and I'm normally a little bit what's the word cautious I suppose of the off the shoulder vibes because sometimes they fall down and they're just too loose or they just don't sit right um, but this style has blown me away it's $30 or $35 from memory I have the size 18 I want to say they very kindly sent out a parcel to me recently with their new spring collection and this was part of it 
I have a couple of other pieces too that I'm going to show you. So this is definitely more on the affordable side. And honestly, this is giving all the cottage core vibes. So let me chuck it on. Okay, this is her on. Honest to goodness. I can't. There was a milkmaid dress trend, which you guys were probably all over in early 2022. And I feel like they've combined a little bit of cottage core with that style. So if you can see, they've got like that same kind of vibe, but without like a tassel. Um, and it's got like quite a lot of pulling in. Like it's not loose whatsoever here. And it's really nice because they haven't gone too wide with it. So you could wear bra straps with it if you wanted to and then like I said they don't have too loose of a sleeve either and because it's shirt here in three lines it's actually a really different kind of shirring than usual I don't know if you can see that very well on the camera but it's not your typical shirring and it's a nice tight fit for me as well so this is not moving this is not moving and it's very very comfortable and I've worn this all day the other day. I actually had to pull this out of the basket to be washed so you know the things I'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around you can see what the back is like and then because it is a midi style it comes to obviously my calf. I'm 167 centimeters tall and it's a really nice length for me personally. Another cute piece from Kmart was this gorgeous little mini skirt. I do have a white singlet that they sent that I styled with this on my recent reel. Um, and I don't know where that's gone. I think again it's in the wash waiting. Sorry, it's waiting in the wash to be washed. And it's just super cute to be honest. I think this will be a really nice summer piece. I'm just going to chuck it on with a lullaby top that is also new. They don't quite go together. <laughs> as I had hoped in my head, but they're not terrible. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, this is the skirt on. It's a really nice size again. So I've got the size 18. This top is recently uh, from the Lullaby Club. I would say about a month ago. So don't quote me on the full size range being there, but I do know that they have a ton of styles like this. Bearing in mind your comfort zone, it definitely sits up higher than a lot of crops. So as you'll see, this fat roll underneath my bra right here. If I was to pull the shirt down, it definitely covers it, but I definitely noticed that while I was wearing it through the day, it did start to rise up. Um, and then I was also wearing a white dress in the Kmart video the other day, and that was also from the Lullaby Club. However, it is in the wash and it needs to be in the wash. I cannot share it. <laughs> it was disastrous after my day on the weekend the other day of just wearing it with the boys and going all the places. They always nail the, uh, what's the word, quality of their fabric choices and just the designs and their very luxurious loungewear and yeah. Chic AF. Now I've worn these to death, so please excuse the lines and scuff marks on them, but I got the most divine shoes from Kmart in their recent PR bag to me, or package, whatever you want to call it. I got a size 10, but just look at them. Like, honestly, this gorgeous twiny, I really need to learn more fabrics. Very boho, I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. They're very comfy to wear as well. I will say though, because they are a closed toe, um, definitely size up. I'm a normally a size like 41. This is a 41 and my right foot is ever so slightly quite tight in it, but it's not too much of a problem. It's only when my nails start to grow out, like my big toenail. And then my last thing I wanted to share, which was actually supposed to be a Christmas gift from Elliot for me this year. <laughs> I, I don't know if anyone else does this, but through the year I will send him links of things that I want and that I need and I'll say, because my birthday's in November and my obviously Christmas is in December, so I'll be like, either for my birthday or Christmas, this is an idea for me. So I sent him this a while back <laughs> and then one night I was sitting on the couch and I was like, I know I sent you this as a gift idea, but can you just take it off your list? Um, because I need to have a crossbody bag for styling purposes. Like I just decided all of a sudden, you know what? I need it. I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to buy it myself. Treat yourself. YOLO. And he looks at me and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I know it's annoying when I do that, but I need to buy this now. He walks away. He's like, no worries, babe. He walks away, comes back into the room 
with my bag. Now it was a different face on it and this was why I had to mention this in this video. So if you see me styling outfits and you see this on me, then you'll know when I got it, why I got it and how I got it. But it can be a few different things. Annoyingly, I went on the website and purchased two more faces. This was one of them, which is like a chevron, chevron, is that what they call it? Kind of design. Um, and I want, I did get the black bag from Elliot with the original gift. I purchased a new white strap along with this face and a white face, but the white face did not come. <laughs> they didn't send it. They actually sent me the bag in white, like the actual body. Um, so I've had to send that back and I'm waiting for the white face to come. But I really liked how sustainable this bag was and how much you could customize it. You could put your name on the front. You could um, literally have any color strap, any color body, any color face. And it's so like changeable. Saves you money, makes it more like personable and also just better for the environment, right? Like with less money, less product. It originally came with this black strap with the white writing, which I also really love to be honest. Um, and then it also came with the orange face. Let me unzip it and show you what I mean. So you take it off like that, and then that is literally the face. How cool. And then the faces are only like $35, $40, something of that nature, and you're not having to go out and buy a whole nother bag. I know the price is a little bit up there, especially for what it is, but for me personally, this was right up my alley and exactly what I wanted to have in my wardrobe that I felt like I was really missing to like just suddenly pull out and go, you know? The hardware is really nice. I'm wanting to say it's like titanium, I don't know. That is, oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> that is the bag and also a really generously sized strap as well. I'm so obsessed with it. It's going to be such a cute accessory and just all the vibes, all the bright spring vibes. That is it, guys. I feel like I've spoken for a million and one hours. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know as well, like if there's any other brands that you want to see. I know that some of you always leave your suggestions in the comments. Sometimes it just comes down to budget for me whether I can afford to buy an entire haul from that brand. Um, but I am definitely always reading every single one of your comments. Even if I don't get an opportunity to respond back, just know that I absolutely do read every single one and I love and adore each and every one of you. Also, if you are watching to the end of this video, just know you guys get VIP. <laughs> <laughs> the privilege, the VIP experience of knowing that something very exciting is happening behind the scenes. I know that I've dropped my content down to like one video sometimes per week and sometimes it can seem like what is she even doing behind the scenes but I promise you exciting things are coming. I had to save this news for you bestie so just keep the secret. Not that you know what it is yet but something 